Hey guys, welcome back. We built this a couple years ago in 2020, the year of COVID. Well, there's been a few years of COVID, but 2020 when it started, um, we ended up buying a Yeti shell, just a, all of the outside put together with the, with the, with the wheel cranks. And all of that was done. We didn't have to build the exterior frame, um, but it came with nothing inside. no electrical and so it was kind of a clean slate and I'll show you what we did. We like to uh, ice fish in the winter and I didn't document the building of it very well. I took pictures and I'll try to stitch together a video of you know some different how to's and how we um, how we decided. Here's a, a little quick tour around. So we wanted to make, we wanted to make a open floor plan kind of like in homes you want um, an open floor plan you don't want um, you want to be able to move around so a lot of ice houses have an aisle down the center have big countertops on on either side um, we didn't really want a table we'll use a table once in a while but um, we decided to go without a table and um, maybe this is new for you entirely like what's an ice house well each of these holes pop up and this is summertime so there's no ice down there but when you drive this thing out on the lake and yes we drive on the lake we pop the covers off and drill the holes through the ice And, and fish. We turn the furnace on and set it to 70 degrees and it might be negative 20 outside and blowing. Step inside the ice house. But on the inside, nice and warm. And so this is the way we like to spend a lot of our winter. And the kids can watch TV. And don't get bored, and it's great. So these uh, these countertop sliders got a little bit of work to do here on these, but there's storage space under here. Kind of a mess, but but this is nice and handy, kind of at bar height. Um, so that's that's nice. Same thing on this side. And if you've ever fished in an ice house, ice houses are dark and so it was our goal to put as many lights in this place as we possibly could and so if I turn all of the lights off in here and shut the door it's daytime right now but at night on the ice there's no light and so you want to be able to see stuff so our, our main lights over top We've got light switch here, which goes up there. We've got an under the cabinet light here, so that's nice. We've got under the cabinet light there, under the cabinet light there, and I still got a little work to do here with this with this mess. But I got a I got a dimmer slider switch right there. I ran a an LED strip on the back of the Euro bed with a control right there. I programmed it to stop right there. How sweet is that? So when it's bedtime, you sleep. And when it's not bedtime, these straps just roll up underneath with the two tracks on the back wall that that keep it in line that's super slick and we've got a couch that 
pulls out into a bed right there. And we custom built these storage cabinets. Put speakers on either side. Same deal on this side. We'll put this guy back. We ended up just putting some storage, some plastic storage bins so nothing gets wet. And you can kind of organize what you want in in each of those bins. And then I'll put some magnets on here. It's not the smoothest of deals, but like that. But guys, the here's the, the whole lights so that when you're fishing in the dark, I talked about lights, you want lights everywhere. And uh, so it illuminates the hole. So when you catch fish, you've got a light right down the hole. And if you want to, if you're using glow jigs, it's got a UV light as well. It's got a rocker switch, LED light, UV light, light up your glow jigs, drop them in the hole. Bam, I got these spotlight reading lights. Those are super slick. And it's even got a USB plug right up there. Each side, one on each side, you can see the USB plug there, charge your phone. We power this thing with a generator and it's got a furnace and all of the, the batteries and the converter box is, wait for it, in the bathroom and even a hole in the bathroom because who doesn't want to keep fishing while they're using the can here's where all the fuse box is there's there's 12 volt and and the 110 um we've got we've got the breakers here different circuits this toilet is a battery powered you just hit the button and it like blows the thing up, twists it, all ready for the next use. It's like a diaper genie for adults. You get about 10 uses out of one of those before you gotta throw it away. And, but, man, it's better than sitting on a five gallon bucket in an emergency. There's the bathroom, coat rack, exhaust fan, like that, medicine cabinet. There you go. So there's the bathroom. Oh yeah, lights. Had this, had this mat or this mattress pad custom made with kind of a vinyl fabric on it, so it will clean up nice. But man, that's a nice, a nice little spot for a, for a nap. I'll take you underneath. Pull out the mattress pad. Show you underneath. So we got a 30,000 BTU furnace, ran the, the lines out, and then I've got, uh, I've got audio video, I've got a coax cable, so if you, or if you want to use this thing as an RV, you can um, plug into cable line and run cable right to the TV. The two batteries that power everything, this could probably go for a couple days without on 12 volt, as long as you're not using every light in the house. It'll run your furnace for a weekend for sure, and lights um, without needing uh, a recharge, but that's where all that happens. Like that. Oh yeah, I talked about lights. This is for my daughter because she likes to party. Ran those strip lights all the way, all the way around. That was tedious. Um, but they changed different colors. 
because who doesn't want a nice house with party lights? We might not catch any fish, but... <laughs> So that's kind of fun. And what else? Uh, one of the things I was most proud of, so we've got these rattle reels. Rattle reels in ice houses are um, kind of a, a standard. However, this is kind of a souped up rattle reel, rattle reel from Northern Lights rattle reel. Um, I talked about lights. Guys, um, you can barely see this, but this is a 12 volt adapter and or plug and I custom built them, wired them in behind the knotty pine here, the tongue and groove knotty pine. But when you plug that in right there and you set your reel, It's got a little sensor right here, a little, and so anytime it gets off of that sensor, the light goes on. So when you're walking around the house, doing other things, when a fish bites, not only will you get the sound, you'll get the light. And if it's at night and you're sleeping and it's dark in here, that blue light lights up this place. And so, um, that's super exciting because that means there's a fish on. Something's playing. But these little guys, these little 12 volt guys, I stuck them in there. And from afar, it looks like just another knot in the wood. Um, but these are, these are interchangeable. We've got a bunch of those. But each of the each of the hole each of the holes have a have a 12 volt plug. Got a 12 volt plug over here. This is the the, the camera, the underwater camera for the house. Jig it, jig it. Come here. Oh. Go, go, baby, go. Which also needs its own plug right there. So that's nice. Um, I even stuck a couple expansion ones up here if we wanted to put, install a fan or something. Um, any kind of 12 volt, um, anything that needs 12 volts. Um, the speaker. Power on. Your device is connected. Hey, how about that? Bluetooth and all. Pump that into the house, or we Bluetooth from the TV. Kids watch movies. I fish. Everybody wins, and so that's the way we do it. A unique way to fish. Driving out on the ice is wild to some people. Um, maybe to most people. If you live in the north, um, it's kind of commonplace, and um, but that's the way we like to spend our winters. I almost forgot. So this was the inside. The outside is pretty slick too. I put the outside, I put the outside switches right here. Um, and so the outside lights, guys, when it's dark outside, this house lights up like crazy. One switch for the, the overhead porch light one switch for the this was a this was a bear to install but i put led lights around the entire perimeter of the house and so if you've got visitors that are driving out on the ice There's really no, well, there's roads out there, but there's no signage. And, and so it's kind of hard to, hard to see how to, how to get there. But you just, you just say, Hey, look for the house that lights up like the sun. And then, so that's nice. And then, so then a functional one, 
when you're lifting and raising the house in the dark I wired the wheel well lights so that you can get to the business the business part of, of, of cranking cranking the house up and down in the dark um, you turn all the lights on and you can move this thing whenever you want to because there's enough light around the, the entire the entire house and so that's kind of cool and again here's where the the 30 amp service comes into the house we've just got it plugged into the into the main right now but in the winter when you're pulling this thing uh, we hook it up to a generator and that um, and that is slick here we've got two 30 gallon propane tanks that heat the heat this thing for a week at, at least with that and here's my coax that I stuck on the um, on the outside so that you can just hook up to the cable if you've got that service and who doesn't need um, an exterior outlet to run your smoker on the ice and because sometimes well during the day most fish are pretty are pretty quiet quiet it's mornings and evenings um, is when the fishing action is during the day it's uh, nap time and uh, cooking time so that's super handy and then uh, the uh, intake and exhaust for the furnace that we had to cut the hole in the side and install that and that is it guys if you like um, ice fishing um, I'll bring you more videos of our ice fishing adventures um, and in fact here's a little sneak peek over the last two years since this house has been in operation um, some of the fish that we've caught it's been a lot of fun hope you enjoy this and if you do go ahead and subscribe hit the like button and we'll see you on the next one thanks guys Walleye.